Hey GED students, it's question of the daytime and our instructions here say one of the statements below is a lie. Can you spot the fraud? Now I do realize, thank you for pointing it out internet, that the first lie on this paper was that I'd have two truths and a lie. Four statements. <laughs> <laughs> Either I've got three truths and a lie or two truths and two lies or yeah. Anyway, that being said, let's go ahead and take a look. I'm still looking for the lie, whether I can count or not. Okay. So, <laughs> uh, we are looking for the lie. So first thing is that students eyes are automatically drawn to a, a lot of students right off the bat. Tell me that does not make sense. Kate, they tell me 17 to the zero power and they give me one of two answers. They either say, okay, 17 to the zero power is zero. I know it to be true, must be true, makes sense to me. Or they say, oh no, Kate, 17 to the zero power is zero is not going to do anything and it must be 17. Both those students are wrong, okay? So here's the problem. Zero as an exponent does not behave the way you'd expect. You guys are used to uh, the way zero behaves in multiplication, how he turns everything to zero, or the way zero behaves in addition, how he doesn't do anything. Uh, but he, oh, whoops, <laughs> I already wrote the wrong answer. Uh, he doesn't do anything. He doesn't change the number. Uh, but neither one of those is how a zero behaves in exponents. When an exponent is raised to the zero power, or when a number is raised to the zero power, by definition, meaning we've defined, mathematicians have defined it be, to be so, the zero power turns its base into a one. Now, there is a real reason for this. I'm not going to get into it uh, today. I think I even have another uh, video on this very topic, but I promise you it is so. It does turn its base into one. We had to define it in such a way so that math wouldn't break in later math. So there's definitely an explanation for why it behaves this way. Uh, but for now, I just promise you it is so. Anything to the zero power, whether it's 17 or anything else is going to give you one. So that was true. So that is not the fraud here. It is true that 17 to the zero power is equal to one. Here's another thing I wanted to slip in because a lot of students get it wrong. I cannot tell you how many students tell me, K, 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 one to the fifth power is five. And they feel brilliant. I remembered exponents. And I'm like, no, you didn't. You forgot exponents. Remember that one to the fifth power means to multiply one by itself, not by five, by itself five times. Well, one times one is one, and one times one is one. And no matter how many flippin' times I multiply one together, all I'm ever going to get is one. So I'm sorry, this was true. One to the fifth power really is one. That was not the lie that I'm looking for. That being said, the next one also um, is one that students say just couldn't be, right? They say, Kate, look at that. How could four times a big ugly decimal just be one? And I'm like, y'all, y'all don't even have to know how to multiply decimals to see that this is a true statement. This is four and that's a quarter, honey. 25 cents is a quarter. Four quarters? Four quarters gives me a dollar. Of course, four times 0.25 is one. Don't believe me? Let's try it mathematically. When you go to multiply decimals, you can completely ignore decimal place. It doesn't matter in multiplication since every number multiplies by every other number in multiplication anyway. Decimal uh, values don't matter. So I'm going to ignore that for now. Five times four is 20. Two times four is eight plus two is 10 and you go there, Kate, you're wrong. That's 100. Not quite. I'm not done yet. In multiplication, decimal places accumulate. The total number of decimal places in the problem will be equal to the number in the answer. So I have 0.2 decimal places in my problem. I get 1, 2 in my answer. That's 1.00 or just 1. Like $1 can be written like this or like this. Same thing. This is just 1. 4 times 0.25 really is just 1. So that was true too. So oh my gosh, D must be a lie. Let's make sure it is. This D says 5 to the first power is 1. Let us evaluate that statement. What does it mean to take something to the first power? It means you have just one of that particular number. So five to the first power means I just have one five. And of course, just one five is not uh, one, five is five. And so five to the first power should have been five, not one, and therefore D was the lie all along.
great. If you have any questions about this or any other math topic, drop it in the comments. I'll do my best to answer it.